Hello there, folks. Hey, this is Joel Ezra here today. Hey, this quick video is going to talk about three ways that you can change the clock or the time in a red line device. Since we just went through daylight savings time, I got a couple of uh, phone calls yesterday about this. I thought I'll make a quick little video on the three methods that I know of to change the time in a red line device. The first method, and probably the easiest method, is if you're connected to your red line device over USB or Ethernet to download, you can always go to the link pull down menu, go to the link pull down menu, and you can click on send time. And that will send the time from your PC down to the red line device real quick and uh, should synchronize the clocks between the two and you should be off to the races. That's the first and simplest way. Again, you can do that over the USB connection or the Ethernet connection if you've got that set up. That's the first method. Number two method you could contemplate is you could actually go over to the right side if you're in Crimson, if you got the database open of whatever it's running on. You can go to primitives on the right side, go into core primitives, and in here, if you have a time uh, primitive already on your screen, great. If not, if you slide all the way down to the bottom in the lower left hand corner, there is a time and date primitive. You can take this little guy and put it on a display page somewhere you might have some free space. And I'm going to make this guy a little bigger by grabbing a corner of it here. And then I'm going to click on it again just to make the font bigger so you can see it. However, if you double click on this thing or right click and go to properties, if you notice right here in the operation display only here, you can make this a data entry field. So if I change this to data entry, Notice that the colors get inverted. I've talked a lot about that in class. Anytime you see the colors inverted on any red line field, that generally indicates that it's set up for data entry. So if I go ahead and use this and click the OK button, and of course download this to the red line unit, this now is a field that you could edit on that red line HMI or device via the web browser or the actual HMI in front of you there. So you could actually put that on a settings page. And you could adjust that any time. So say three months from now, your clock's off by a minute or something for some odd reason. You could click on that and adjust the time on the fly without having to use Crimson. So there you can put a time primitive on the display page. And the third method that you can do for a clock thing is a little more intense. But uh, over on the left-hand side in communications, over here in communications, if I slide down to the services section, and here in the services section, you can see there is a time manager. Now, in this case, you can use this if you're connected to the Internet. You can enable the time manager and set up some time client here where it would get the time from a SNT, SNTP server. And so uh, you can set this up to get the time from there. Great. However, with this function, if you wanted to use daylight savings time, actually have the clock adjust an hour for daylight savings time, over in the lower right hand side of Crimson in the system menu here in the system, if I expand the variables, there's a function here called use DST, use daylight savings time. And as most of these functions, if you right click on it and do show help info, let's see if it'll open. This function here is a function where you could turn on or add an hour to the time if set to true. So uh, that means. If I was to use that on my screen, let's just pretend here. If I go back to display pages and say I go to my uh, home directory here and I'll go to maybe a two state toggle. And I'm just for giggles here. I'm going to grab one of these basic rockers just to drag this out here, show you how I'd use this. And I'll double click on this guy. And I want that to change the US, the use DST function. So if I go to the lower right-hand corner and simply just grab this and drag and drop it right here. So anytime I toggle this to on, it's going to use daylight savings time function. Turn it off, it's going to run the regular time. So it's quite simply a simple way to move the clock up an hour or not for DST, daylight savings time. Anyway, that's just a quick video on three ways that you can adjust the clock or time in your red line device. Again, the USB or Ethernet download is the simplest by going to the link. Pull down and click send time. Number two is put a time permit on a page, make a dead entry, and you can fly by there. And number three is a little more intense. 
using the SNTP uh, time manager to synchronize to a clock somewhere else and then use uh, the use DST function. Anyway, hey, thanks a lot, folks. Have yourself a great day. We'll see you later.